one of the things I think they all have in common is they all want to make a really positive impact in the world and it's not about themselves. They have the courage to face their fears, you know, to really challenge themselves and go beyond themselves to make a difference for someone else. You know, some of them are famous, so you know, the obvious ones, Dalai Lama, Maya Angelou, who've made a huge impact in the world. But the others are my friends, family, and work colleagues, you know, people who just take themselves on and really just go beyond what they think they're capable of. That inspires me every day. There's been quite a few inspirational women for me, but one in particular that stands out was um, a colleague. Um, she worked in, in group, uh, in group quality. She was the group microbiologist. Her name was Ian Halligan. And when I started with the business many years ago, she sort of took me under her wing and she mentored me and she gave me a feeling that I was capable. She encouraged me all along the way. Every time I did something good, she told me that I had done that and she encouraged me to go for it. She was always there offering advice and words of wisdom. Another person who I had the good fortune to meet once was um, Ariana Huffington, who set up the Huffington Post. And whilst the inspirational side of things was because she set up one of the biggest and fastest moving online news organisations, the things that really impressed me about her is, again, she brought balance into her life. She talked about um, some mental health challenges she'd had and she talked about making some choices where at some point in her day she stopped working and focused on other things in her life. But actually, the individual or individuals that have had the most impact on me, and particularly on my career, have been when I was at school. Um, and it was school leaders, teachers, my headmaster, that actually didn't believe in me. They didn't believe that I could uh, complete my A-levels. They didn't believe that I would get to university, get degrees. Um, and I've really worked very hard to, to prove them wrong. And I'm really proud of where I've gotten today. Um, so I have to say Dame uh, Ellen MacArthur, um, she actually grew up um, very close to where I grew up in Derbyshire um, as a starting point um, and then uh, in her sailing career she sailed all the way around the world in solo navigation, the first, uh, first female to do that um, and that's just, that's just awe inspiring in itself. Um, and then personally, from a packaging perspective, to go on and to drive um, the agenda on, on the circular economy and plastics and to bring over 250 businesses together um, to agree to the new plastics economy global agreement, just an amazing woman. I guess I would pick my sister, um, my older sister, uh, who's a real ardent fighter for women's rights and um, a pioneer of coaching uh, to support corporate working mums.